always something different about my trip when I walk in, they always stare. I can see right through your act and your intentions are so clear. Don't say a word, I just fall back and act like you were never here. What you heard, I get the bag invested, triple by next year. The way I flex, yeah. up welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today as you guys can tell i have some new hair this beautiful ashy brown honey blonde highlighted wig is from af sister wigs and this surprisingly is another t part lace wig everything will be linked down below as always be sure to check the description box down below and just keep on watching. So like I mentioned in my last video, I have been obsessed with these tea part lace wigs. As you guys can see, it has this super deep parting space in the center, and it comes pretty predefined and already set in. I did go ahead and just pluck some knots out of the center part area and just add some eyeshadow, but that was literally it, and this is how good it looks. I also mentioned in my previous video, if you guys want your wigs to look a little bit more natural, a little bit more customized, you can go ahead and tweeze like the hairline right up in here However, there is only about an inch of lace from the sides of the wig from ear to ear on the sides So honestly because I had to cut into it to add some baby hairs being that this is a colored wig I went ahead and just left the wig in its natural state You guys know I also like to come on here and just share with you guys what the wigs really look like as you guys can see Like the point of this wig I feel like is this beautiful beautiful curl pattern and hair color this wig is in this beautiful ashy brown color and it has these blonde highlights all throughout the wig I like these loose kind of deep curls and I absolutely love this because I feel like it looks somewhat natural like I myself am african-american I am mixed with other things if I was mixed and had like an african-american parent and a caucasian parent I feel like this is what my hair texture would more so look like and it would just be more believable that this would even be my hair color and like I just added some highlights so for that reason I love how this wig looks it just really transforms me and I feel it gives me a completely different look you guys know I love wigs for that reason it's just a way to switch up your look try something new without having to damage your hair you can actually protect your natural hair and take care of it which I absolutely love and I'm here for I will have the specs of this wig listed right here next to me so you guys can see the exact details but this wig is in a very nice length it's very full all throughout this is the wig fully absolutely dried and as you guys can see it's not like super frizzy and just like you know all big but it has a really nice volume to it I did add some layers in the front to help kind of frame my face as well and I absolutely love this look like it's just giving me summer into fall vibes it's still summer and like bohemian effortless kind of vibes but the color is definitely giving like fall transition and if you guys can tell I did go ahead and put in some contacts. These are from TTDI. I will also have the coupon code on the screen and link down below in case you guys want to save some money and check it out. But yeah, this wig is absolutely beautiful. I love how thick and voluminous the hair is. It is so soft as well. Like you guys see, I literally just keep touching the wig, keep touching the curls. And obviously in some areas, like the curls have loosened up and you know, are maybe a little bit frizzy. But the hair itself is still super defined and looks so beautiful and so good. And honestly, I always say that like when curly wigs do that, it makes the wig look more natural because real curly hair gets frizzy, changes its curl pattern and things like that throughout the day. So 
I love this. I could go on and on and on about how much I love this wig, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the wig came to me and show you guys how I styled it to get it to look like this. So the wig was sent to me in this black box right here with this blue ribbon on it. It has their logo in gold foil lettering and the box just slides open. They also sent over a pack of wig caps, which is really nice, as well as this baby hair brush and a rat tail comb. They also sent over an extra insertable elastic band, but my camera wouldn't focus. And the wig was sent over in a hairnet as well as with white tissue paper inside to help keep its shape. This is a T-part lace wig. So as you guys can see, there's normal wefts in the center of the wig, and then there's lace from ear to ear as well as a deep lace part in the center of the wig. There are combs in the front as well as the back, and there is an insertable elastic band in the wig as well. There are also adjustable straps, so this wig is really, really secure and made really well. This is what the wig looked like straight out of the box, and I did go ahead and just pluck the knots that are directly in the center of that part. I didn't go ahead and bleach the knots or do anything extra. I just plucked those knots, and I installed the wig using the got to be glue method. And this is literally what the wig looks like. This is the wig just co-washed. I did go ahead and put a little bit of some curl cream in the hair and let it air dry. And as you guys can see, these curls are so, so beautiful. The hair has so much movement and just looks really, really good. I did go ahead and wear this wig for two days before coming on here and filming this video. So here you're seeing me take off my scarf. And again, this is what the hair looks like in its natural state. This is two days after having it installed. And as you guys can see, the curls still look beautiful. All I do is refresh the curls with some water day to day and it just looks really really beautiful the only thing i did was go ahead and just add some eyeshadow to the part and add some baby hairs but i literally just installed this wig the same as any other time i just do a got to be glue method and to add some shape around my face i am gonna go ahead and add some layers so i am just sectioning off the area at the front and top part of my hair and i'm just using some up and down motions to create a more gradual layered effect and just cutting in some layers I'm just sectioning off and working my way around the hair, but at the top areas, I'm really going a little bit shorter and then gradually getting a little bit longer and then also grabbing a section directly framing my face and adding some layers as well that are a little bit shorter. I'm now gonna take a section that's below all three layers that I just did and add some longer layers to just kind of make it gradually fade into the rest of the hair. I'm no hairstylist. This is just what I've learned from watching other YouTube videos myself. So you guys can definitely look up better and more professional ways to do this, but it's pretty easy to just add some quick layers to any hair. I'm going ahead and adding some water to define the curls and I went ahead and added the layers to the other side of the wig as well. Being that the root of the hair is not wet i'm going in and taking a curling wand and i'm using this to just add some volume to the top of my hair as i mentioned i have worn this wig for two days so wearing a scarf at night really can flatten out your hair and i really like to do this to just make it look more volumized like it's just freshly been dried blown out just you know has some volume and doesn't just look so set and flat so i really like to just section the hair closest to the top of the part and just do a few different sections and work my way up and you guys will see that this creates a really nice voluminous effect i'm gonna go ahead and repeat this to the other side and this is what it's left with i'm just taking the curling wand to flatten out any baby hairs in the back but there is the volume in the front so this is the final look guys and I'm absolutely obsessed with it like this wig just came out so good I literally didn't even do anything to the wig except add some layers add some eyeshadow in the part cut a little bit of baby hairs and glue it down and this is it I did go ahead and put a little bit of my bell curl cream I'll put like a picture of it on the screen so you guys can check it out if you're interested on the wig when I co-washed it because I did go ahead and co-wash and air dry this wig and when it, when it was about 50% dry I just put some of the curl cream on the ends of the hair um but you guys saw i did go ahead and like add layers to the wig after that and just added some water to refresh the curls a little bit and guys i don't know if i mentioned but this is my third day wearing this wig like i literally installed this wig and i just had it like really long and straight without the layers or anything for two days and i just was going around i even slept with it with no scarf on one night because i accidentally just fell asleep and look how good this lace looks like it is 
always laid. It just looks so good. It was so easy to install and easy to work with. I cannot stress that enough. Like if you're obviously looking for that arrogant tay, super, super natural from ear to ear hairline, okay, maybe a T-part wig is not necessarily for you. But if you're a constant wig wearer or a wig beginner or someone who wants to save some money, a T-part wig is so easy to install. It's like pre kind of styled for you a little bit because you don't have all that lace, you don't really have to worry about super laying the edges and all of that like honestly you could probably wear this wig glueless because it has the headband and everything and the style and the way that like the sides of my face are covered you'd probably be good to go just lay your baby hair so for that reason i feel like t-part wigs are so practical so easy i've just been obsessed with it like i've been a little bit lazier when it comes to like everything but obviously I still want to look cute and switch up my look and try different things so I've just been loving these wigs let me know what you guys think down below a few of you commented on my other video and you also said that usually you're not really fans of t-part wigs but that other wig looked so cute and you guys agreed as well so let me know what you guys think of this wig down below just a quick little review I will say that this wig is not giving me any shedding or any tangling like I said the curls are so soft the hair is thick and full but it's not like frizzing up it's not like unmanageable or tangling up or anything like that so I'm really really enjoying that I did go ahead and cut some baby hairs as well as tweeze a little bit in the part to define it like I mentioned and just in that beginning process I did get a little bit of shedding and in the initial washing co-washing process I got a little bit of shedding but in the last three days of wearing this wig, you guys see how much I'm touching the wig in my hair. I'm not getting any shedding that I'm really noticing, so I'm really happy about that. I also just love this curl pattern and just color and style of this wig alone. Like, can we just talk about it and review that for a moment? Like, this wig is so cute. Some pre-dyed wigs aren't really done well or aren't really cute, but this is so cute. Like, I love this. And when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, this is giving me Beyonce vibes. Like, you know how she does the light brown with the honey? little highlights and the blonde highlights like if they honestly added even more it would just really be giving Beyonce if you're watching this video comment down below if you wear wigs if your favorite type of wig is like a lace frontal a lace closure wig a t-part wig a headband wig whatever if you don't wear wigs at all comment that down below also honestly I'm just curious and let's talk about it put me on let me know what you guys think down below in the comments I really love this wig, guys be sure to follow me over on Instagram because I am posting more photos so you guys can see little like videos of me when I switch up my hair you guys can see first my new hair because I always post on Instagram like the day that I put a new wig on I'm on Instagram singing my favorite song posting my new hair and showing off the look days before the video even gets to YouTube so if you guys want you know first look at my new look see how I style my wigs my clothes and everything a little bit more be sure to follow me over on Instagram also like I keep mentioning on my videos you can follow me on my brand Instagram as well and go check out my website. I recently launched a swimsuit collection and I am going to be launching two more collections before the year is over. So be sure to tap in, tune in, go follow me over on my Instagram as well. Support a young female black independent artist. And if you are an artist or a small business, leave your Instagram down below, leave your website down below. Let us all check it out and let me know if you want a shout out in my next video or anything like that. I would love to shout you guys out. It's so important to support each other and support independent artists and independent designers. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below. So guys, definitely check out the description box down below. If you made it this far in the video, comment some white hearts or the black heart emoji so I know that you made it this far in the video and I will comment back. I really love you and appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with a friend or family that you think would like this hair, this wig, this look, or just enjoy my channel. And if you made it to the end of the video, I love you so, so, so much and I will see you on my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys. I can best the triple by next year.